Hi guys, this is Jordan with Motion Array. Today we're going to be going over a simple tip that can really help you save a lot of time in your editing. We're going to learn how to create presets in Premiere Pro. If you use the same kind of custom effect over and over for most of your videos you create, it can save a lot of time even over the course of just a few videos to not have to keep creating it from scratch. For the last 30 or so tutorials here on Motion Array, I've been making a customized whoosh for this title card. After just a few videos, I was tired of making them from scratch every time. So I decided to make a preset, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do now. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is create the effect as you normally would. This could be anything, so for us, we're just going to animate this title card to go from left to right over the course of a few frames. Then we're going to add a directional blur that increases the intensity over roughly the same amount of time. Here we have two effects, but we can create a preset that includes both of them to be used later. Select one of your effects, like motion, and then select any additional ones by holding control or command, and then by clicking on each additional one. If you want to select everything in your effects control panel, right click and hit select all. Once you have your selection that you want, right click on one of your selected effects and choose save preset. Here's where you can give your preset effect a name. This name should be informative and distinguish it from any other effects. The idea is you want to be able to look at it and know exactly what it does. Next, how do you want it to interact with the other clips that you might be using it on in the future? You have three options. Scale will take the effect and keep the relative time at which it happens. So if the effect happens closer to 75% through the clip, this will keep the relative scale and make sure that it happens 75% through the next clip that it's used on. Anchor to endpoint will take the distance away from the start of the clip and use that as a reference for all the other clips in the future. This is very useful for things that you want to happen immediately or very shortly after the start of a clip. But for us, we want this effect to happen at the very end of all future clips we use it on as a transition out. So we're going to set it to anchor to out point. Finally, you can give notes to yourself or whoever might be using this effect in the future in case something is unclear or if the desire is to have the effect used in a very particular way. Now that you're done, click OK. Now to find your preset, go to the Effects tab. There's a section called Presets, and there you'll find your newly created preset. Now all that's left is to drag and drop and see how it looks on your next clip. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, consider checking out some of our other tutorials. We've got lots over at MotionArray.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.